<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say uh pre turn up we be talking about them Aries. We up next gang gang. We them Aries. Crank that turn up, pop it, turn up for oh, uh, Aries. What you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? What's up, Aries? What's up, gang gang? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of an Arian between the 1st and the 15th of March? Hmm. Hmm. Are we in an energy of rest and restoration? Are we in this energy of releasing and understanding why? We had to release, baby. We spiritual teachers. It's time for the catch up with the come on, come on, catch up, hot sauce. What's up? Okay. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube, okay? Who can better assist you without cursing, all right? Yeah, my lighting sucks, all right? But in my defense, they have something going on with the, um, with the light, with the, with the some type of new window little thing, some insulation system, so it doesn't give in much light because it's kind of tinted, and so my room of recording has now turned into the dim zone. Ooh, I like it, <laughs> but I do have to maneuver some light, so that wasn't going to stop me from bringing you guys your videos. I will be going uh, live next with Pisces, so I have to get all of my work up. All right, so you guys. Um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aries from the 1st to the 15th of March. This is not a personal. It is a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. You guys, let me tell you now. Uh, disclaimer. You see this? That's my shadow. Don't be talking about Mocha. Do you got shadow people behind you? Of course not. I don't play with their ass. I'm going to send them to hell. We'll talk about that on another video. I don't play play. Okay? So with that said... Um, <laughs> this will be for my summer rising Venus, um, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aries, um, as well as the, uh, cross watchers, you know, gang, gang, you understand, we in the building. Um, you guys, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, I truly appreciate it, I truly, truly do, I appreciate y'all. But, um, and I'm sorry I stayed away so long, I've really been trying to cleanse my energy and just kind of stay grounded and centered, and just in my own chi, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, alright, so, um, you guys, Take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? Um, what else was there? Oh, new subscribers, welcome to the family. Returning subscribers, gang, gang, what's up? What's up, familia? Um, but new subscribers, y'all, we're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight it for us because when we share, we grow. We love, we enlighten. Positive vibes only, all right? So without further ado, let's jump in it, okay? So we're going to start with you guys' intuitive messages for uh, the first half of March. You know how it gets down. I be meditating when I meditate in... Um, I actually write down uh, the things that I am able to receive, especially when they come repetitively. Um, so I wrote it down. All right. Intuitively for Aries, I do. Um, I did receive career career advancement, blessings, resolution, reset, new life cycles, past life, twin flame, engagement, cutting ties. Spiritual Awakening, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Virgo, Power of the Mind, Great Fortune, Manifesting Rapidly, Miracles, Mending Fences, Sagittarius just got this, some of y'all could be dealing with a Sag, um, I got Family, I got forgiveness, I got cleansing, detox, decisions, rapid movement, okay? So that may resonate with some of you all. Take what does, leave the rest, or it could also be um, within your energy, okay? The people who you got in your energy, all right? So let's rock it. The message, the angel message that you guys got comes from Archangel Michael. You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. 
So I definitely feel the energy for Aries, you know, and it's just pretty much about having that faith and just knowing you're safe because I definitely feel the energy for my Rams, you know, of look, just look over your shoulder, honey. Uranus have kicked our asses so much that we have gotten so used to going through shit that we don't really, a lot of us are having issues I'm seeing and I'm feeling just with the peace of mind. For some of us, we have to separate from someone or we're separating from someone during this time that looks to be karmic and it is um, actually faded that way. For some of you all, the lesson is about, the lesson is about letting go. For some of you, it's resistance. And for some of you all, it's truly releasing, not holding on to that shit or sweeping it under in your damn closet. Because ultimately, when that shit piles up, baby, it's going to fall. London Bridge is going to fall down. So it's about really opening up those, opening up. That opening up that damn closet and cleaning that shit out little by little, but not allowing it to stress you out to the point where you feel like there are burdens or there's heavy weight on your shoulders. Because for some of you all, the uh, the overall energy for the reading was the nine of clubs. So I definitely feel like for some of you all, it's about independence. For some of you all, you could be starting out March or going into March um, fresh, newly single. Okay. I'm also hearing for some of you all. Um, who are having spiritual spiritual awakenings i'm hearing the great releasing for some of you all i heard call your mother um someone has been rejecting their mother and i feel that your mother call your mother back you're going to find that there could be some type of health issue okay and there's a need to release judgment which is what's going to take us into our spirit message because i do see that that's pretty strong for aries this month all right so i do see <clears throat> during this time a lot of you guys are going to be Rest and rejuvenation, baby. Harmony. Finding harmony within the self. Finding that wealth and abundance within the self. And it comes with a great release. And for some of you all, finding that abundance in vulnerability. Okay, yes, I said it. Abundance in vulnerability. Do you understand? For some of you all, it's about a resting period. It's about a rebirth, a renewal. A lot of you guys are going to be truly feeling a lot of um, divine. Uh, some of you are, especially with the divine feminines who are aware of the fact that you are divine. Feminine. For those of you, there's a very feminine aspect of, of aspect to the energy that's going to be on Aries during this time. And a lot of you all, I'm hearing, take it easy. Some of you all are really needing to take it easy, detox, fast, okay? Or put incorporate some type of spiritual baths into um, your weekly routine. With the minimal of at least two to three, a lot of you guys are coming to the conclusions that it's a lot of people out here using magic and shit. Mocha, it's a lot of people. Yes, yes, magic is within all of us. Okay, it's just how we choose to use it. If we choose to use it for our greater good, if we when you when we use it as judgment for others, meaning within the mind, you're an Aries. Everything starts within the head first. Your manifestations, everything starts within the head. Which is why we're headstrong. Which is why most of the time it's not easy to manipulate the Aries. If you get you if you get down once, cool. But your ass won't tell a second story. Period. Okay. So I definitely feel like it's finding that harmony within, especially when it comes to releasing the judgment of other people or um, that judgment upon ourselves, or, or to feel as if we have to carry that weight or be this be the perception um, that other people has kind of painted for our lives. This is a time of great releasing, surrendering. OK, removing ourselves from those energies for some of you all, you could be dealing with someone who makes you feel as if you have to question yourself or judge yourself in some in some sort of way. Or you have to maintain this particular image. Some of my Aries have some type of um, platform or some type of um, some type of um, fan base or some type of like following. And maybe you feel like you you will be perceived a certain way if you just chose to actually release release Pandora's box and let the beautiful things that are within you, let the goddess within you speak. I feel like some of you all have become comfortable with sitting in the damn justice seat and you forgot you the fucking empress. You the empress. We are creators. You build. And in releasing, releasing, that releasing brings a sense of purity. It restores your light. That spirit wants you to know that you are protected. You do not have to feel as if, you know, you are lonesome or you are afraid of open up, opening up to people or being vulnerable to people because of where you've been. You have to release that fear and don't go into things with the perception of fear because you're a manifester. You're, you're a great manifester. Yes, it's going to literally materialize that within your reality. 
<clears throat> for some of you all, this could have to do for some some y'all. For those of you who um, whew, for those of you who are dealing with deaths, okay, or who has been having a hard time releasing um someone's death, I do feel that there is some form of information that is going to be coming in the form of a dream for some of you all. This could be someone um who could have who could have passed on, who could be an ancestor to you. This could also and, and I feel the form of a mother figure. Or a grandmother. This could also be um, some type of clarity that gives you um, that gives you that that peace in order to release. It's also going to bring you fulfillment. Some of y'all, you really need to work on your solar plexus chakra. For some of you all, it's a bit off, and I feel like that is preventing you from moving forward and really, really, really shining your light the way it's like you're trusting more so your your in, your uh, intellectual mind versus your instinctual mind. OK, and I feel that for some of you all, it's kind of putting you in the place of either stagnancy or feeling as if things are not moving or only looking at the negative aspects of things. And that also has to do with that great releasing. OK, for some of you all, it is literally releasing the situations and circumstances. I feel this is situations of um or releasing that vibration of feeling as if you have to wear a mask in order to be successful or you have to have a mask in order to keep relationships or situationships in your energy because you have this fear of being alone that you're actually releasing that fear and understanding that you're alone that being alone is one of the greatest assets that you can actually give the self because it allows you time to truly get to know yourself and even when you're dealing with relationships and partnerships no time is wasted time it just gave you enough time to know what you will and will not accept what I will and will not put up with, what I will and will not deal with, what, what, what am I, and don't, some of you all are also, I'm hearing, thank you, Spirit, releasing validation. You're, some of you are, are releasing that ideal that you need the people in your energy to validate you. So it's like when they leave, you feel this sense of betrayal or you feel this sense of emptiness. Spirit is giving you that, giving you that restoration. Okay. It is safe. For you to be vulnerable to another person. Everybody who comes in your life is not going to be on no clown ass shit. And for some of you all, it's actually giving you that revelation of um, past life karma, okay, that you're able to release because you've actually moved forward and closed out a cycle. So some of you all, you're releasing um, what you once know to be in this, what you once knew to be in this place of lack or be in this place of feeling as if someone's going to judge you or be in this place of um, feeling as if you, you, you can't give your heart to another person because you feel like you're in some type of bondage or if not bondage for some of you all, you're going to feel as if, um, some of y'all are really feeling like everybody who you meet are narcissists. Now, for some of y'all, that could be the case. But for some of you all, that's not the case. The Spirit is saying, let that go. You are safe. That period of your life is overdone with, baby. You released and chose self-worth. You won. You are already victorious. And for some of you all, <clears throat> it's about closing these cycles because... The fruits of your labor. We have here the number eight. It's infinite. Infinite abundance with the beans and the trees. Infinite abundance. Karmic rewards. Miracles. After closing doors. Yes, it is okay to reflect. But for you to reflect and become resentful and become regretful. No, 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 ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. No, ham. No, no, turkey. You understand? We're not doing that. Take. It's safe to take that mask off. Because can't nobody else own this abundance that you're destined to walk into spirit is allowing you to close cycles so during this retrograde period expect for people from the past who had some type of keys or heart or, or key to pull on your heartstrings to come forward but understand that you don't have to look over your shoulder because if the only person can allow these people to take from your to take from your abundance and take from your tree is you and even if you do that it's not for you to beat your damn self up because you have to learn in order to know you have to fall or fail in order to grow. And some of you are, you're afraid to actually build on that abundance, okay? Because you're afraid of failure. Because you've allowed other people to put that projection, projection in your head. Well, if you move there and start this business, well, you're not going to be successful. Well, what about this? Well, what if it go bad? Well, what if it does not? But if I don't ever fucking go, I won't know, right? So it's about you actually being the driver of your ship. 
and not only manifesting your abundance, but putting that focus. Let that be your only. Uh, what 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 Cardi say? It's a vision in my what? Well, it's a vision in my vision. That bitch is my target. You understand? It's about you releasing these things and seeing the blessing in releasing things, releasing these things and closing these doors and and and, and completely. Cl not only closing the doors, but closing them with the proper closure to move forward because everybody can't eat at your circle. Everybody can't eat at your table. And Spirit wants you to know, keep them squares at your circle. For some of you all, you're playing chess with people during this time. And I feel like it, it, it has to do with um, a sense of protection. But for some of you all, when you take the mask off, then you be real with yourself. It also comes from a place of fear. Because, yeah, we flirt, we're fun, you know, we have our fun, but at the same time, that, what you don't understand is that heaviness, it, even though you're sweeping it under the rug, baby, it just sits there. And it sits there and it rots like a old piece, a old piece of beef. I don't like red meat and beef and shit. You gotta rot in your stomach before it fucking digests. So it's releasing the great rotting. Okay? So let's get it. That was pretty deep, berries. Here, what do you have for my Aryans in love? Between the 1st and the 15th of March, yeah. For some of you all, Spirit says, take this leap of faith. Be the fool, jump off the cliff, Aries. For some of you all, you're afraid to actually, some of y'all could actually have a past life partnership or a twin flame partnership, okay? And for some of you all, this is actually going to bring you abundance. But some of y'all are not really seeing this person because you see bullshit ass Harry, Tom, Dick, and Joe. And you had to go through that heartbreak. You had to go through that deception. You had to go through that so that you could truly see love from a clearer lens than just an actual, oh, he cute or she fine. Or, you know, from, to, to see it from bigger than a space of vain, vanity. Okay? For some of you all, it's taking a, faith, uh, taking a leap of faith towards a situation where there is equal give and take, okay? Or taking a, way, taking a, faith, taking, taking a leap of faith away from a, from a place where there is not an equal give and take. I feel that for some of you all, you've been carrying, you've gotten so used to carrying the weight of others, okay? And so for some of you all, I said movement. Some of you all are literally moving, okay, to a new place during this time. Some of y'all could also be um, possibly dealing with some type of legality, some type of legal, legal situations, um, or going through some type of, some. yeah, some of y'all could also be moving away from someone due to some type of unexpected legal legal documentations or some type of doc I'm hearing documentation so some y'all could actually be separated from a karmic partner I feel that this is going to be something that is unexpected to bring you to this independent energy because I definitely feel like for some of you all this could have to do with the court system yeah and for some of you all you're moving away from a situation that you release a situation that's toxic Due to the fact that you're you're tired of overly giving, or you're tired of overextending your energy to someone who's unappreciative, or for someone who, for some of y'all in here, emotionally abusive. For some of y'all, y'all dealing with someone who is emotionally manipulative, and they always find a way to point the finger at you to make you feel as if you're the bad guy. Aries, understand that if you had to move away from something or someone toxic, if you had to move away, if you're moving away from someone toxic during this time, it's going to bring you the coin, the coin. For those of you who are afraid to move away from toxic work environments, Spirit is saying, take the leap of faith, jump off the cliff, baby. Because you're going to walk into right, right into a beautiful, right into the door of abundance. For some of you all, you're moving away from somebody who just really like grass. They and some of y'all I'm hearing uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you my version, but the spirit said it clean. Some of y'all dealing with a hoe. Okay? You can't change them. And for some of you all, there will be people coming back from this during this Mercury retrograde for not the wrong reasons. This could be people who you moved away from in the past. They could have to do with third party situations. Some of y'all are reconciling with someone who could have put you in a third party situation. Due to children, you could have children with this person. And for some of you all, there is change coming to a dynamic in a living situation. There could be change coming to a dynamic um, with the living situation due to some type of ties to legalities or some type of ties to court or children or some type of court order. Some of you guys could kind of be in your head, kind of in your head about um, moving forward or moving away from a cancer. OK, for some of you all, you really want to make your family work. You really want to uh, renew your partnership. 
with someone. However, if someone just can't let go of the options, that someone feels as if, you know, they still want to explore before they actually give you that form of commitment. Some of you guys are moving towards commitment. Uh, there will be some type of um there will be some type of form of engagement. Some of y'all could also be having someone planning some you think someone's actually cheating, but some of y'all could actually be having someone planning some form of an engagement for you. Congratulations, my babies. Some of y'all could also be be careful with reconciling with people during this Mercury retrograde. Don't just quickly jump back into it because you love that person. Because I do see someone coming with a bit of toxic energy this person for some of y'all could see you abundant and they really want to be attached to your energy anyway it, 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 by any means necessary so some of you all really protect your energy and really watch who you are um allowing um that energy transfer with watch who you have sex with during this time i'm gonna say it like that some of y'all could literally be moving and not telling nobody yeah and some of y'all could actually be moving yeah some of y'all could actually be traveling and literally like getting married or Something to that extent. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Taurus. But I do feel that there is some type of rapid changes. And for some of you all, it's, it, it, it looks to be victory, victorious, okay? If you choose to take that leap of faith because you could have moved away from this person from the, in the past. And this person could have actually went through some form of a transformation or experienced some type of karma. For some of y'all, watch who you reconciling with because they're still coming back toxic. Some of you are moving away from a Capricorn due to a third-party situation, and I feel like this is consistent, this is continuous with the third-party shit. And some of y'all could also be reconciling with the Cancer, okay? For some of you all, you're moving away, um, or you're just moving away and starting over, and Spirit is saying jump off the cliff because that will actually shift your life in a in a positive way especially when it comes to your finances and some of y'all have been in your head about starting a business but again there's this fear of judgment and i do feel that it is tied to your life path y'all are intuitive we're spiritual teachers aries we have information that spirit needs to channel through us to provide to the collective okay and for some of you all this is why all your friends come to you pouring out the damn problems when all sh when shit hits the fan because you are divine wisdom here why is the Empress here for Aries? Yeah, some of you guys could also find out, especially if you're dealing with um, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Virgo, another Aries. Um, I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be moving away from a person due to someone having a third party situation, reconciling with someone and... Um, you're finding out that they're hiding a pregnancy and I feel like this other person, whoever the third party is, this person could be someone who's just very vindictive because they don't have your partner. I definitely feel that that's a karmic partner to your soulmate and they could just be like pretty much going to the courts out of vindiction. For those of you who are dealing with the uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel as if either there is some type of, you have to take that leap of faith to be willing to change in order to have that victory with this person, but I definitely feel like there's some type of communication that needs to be had in order for the relationship to go in a positive way where there's equal give and take. Because I definitely feel like someone in the past could have had this third party energy, someone moved away and someone is willing to change and they want their family back, okay? And I do feel that being successful. Um, for those of you who are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, I definitely feel like either you're coming towards this person to uh, make an offer or you could have moved away from this person uh, due to the fact that for some some of you all, this person was mentally, emotionally, uh, mentally and emotionally toxic. Okay, this person could have had some type of codependent issues. Okay, and you're just moving forward and focusing on your abundance. And I do see spirit really blessing you in a massive financial way, as well as um, and for some of you all, mental health as well as peace. Okay, peaceful in, in a peaceful manner. Rest and rejuvenation. Cleanse your energy, up, baby. Why is the devil card here? Yeah. For some of you all, you could have some type of toxic connection to a Capricorn due to this person possibly helping you with money or helping you with some type of uh, monetary value. Some of y'all, this person during this time could be coming back to make an offer to you um, of reconciliation, but they're trying to do it in a in a very ego-filled way because I feel like somebody's trying to dangle money over your head. And I do feel, Aries, you're going to set this person up. Fuck you. I'm gone, motherfucker. Catch me if you can. Okay, because I definitely feel like some of you all just don't give a damn about how much money that a person has. You're just like, fuck it. I want peace. Peace and time is expensive. I tell anybody that because you can't pay for it. Okay. You can't get that shit back. Yeah. 
Some of you guys are moving away from a cancer. This could be the actual toxic energy where you feel like this person is just, uh, for some of y'all, this is a narcissistic energy. For some of y'all, it's that damn Capricorn. But I definitely feel like movement away from this person is going to bring you blessings. And it's also going to bring you a reconciliation possibly with another water sign. For those of you who are dealing with another Aries, okay, or if you're dealing with, again, that air, I do see commitment, okay? For those of you who are dealing with Taurus, okay, I do see that there's some type of change required in order to um, move things forward, and it is around communication, or someone has to possibly cut two people out of their energy first. Ooh, card. I like that. Verified that. Yeah. For some of you all, it's taking a, taking a leap of faith, taking a chance in love, new love, okay? After possibly moving forward away from someone. And I feel like for some of you all, you've been praying for real love. This is the manifestation of that. But the person who actually had that pull on your heartstrings has to be released first. You have to move away from that person or move away from the disappointments from that person in order to balance things out internally. So that you could be at your best self, your highest self, in order to give and receive that love. Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant here? Why is the hierophant? Oh, you turned. Okay, yeah. And it's safe to love. For some of you all, um, you actually have new love or some form of commitment or new level of commitment, possibly with a Taurus person. And it's going to bring changes in your life, okay? For some of you all, I want to know why this damn Three of Swords here. What? Clarify the Three of Swords. Yeah. Hey, so so for some of you all, it's possibly starting new or renewal after reconciliation with someone. Okay, and actually, or someone could actually be moving forward away from someone due to that third party. For some of you all, your relationship um, is someone is feeling left out or abandoned due to the fact that you focus on work a lot. And I definitely feel a decision needs to be made, Aries. Do you choose your legacy? Do you choose, you know, your life path? Or do you choose codependent love? You know, I feel that there is something unhealthy about a union. And I definitely feel like even though you want, even though you want uh, solidity, you want something um, that's going to grow from this situation. I definitely feel like there's not a meeting of the minds that's happening. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah. Some of you guys could just be definitely moving away from someone due to the fact that you just really just like, fuck how much time I put in, fuck how much money I put in, fuck how much energy I put in. I've had enough. I just really want my peace back so that I can truly create and move forward. So I can find that harmony within myself in order to move forward to create. Which ultimately brings... This Ace of Pentacles with this Six of Wands. Victory. Victory after moving forward. There is a blessing in the lesson, Aries. Just trust it. Okay? So, I love you all. This is what I have for love. Y'all, we will definitely be turning up back for our birth, for our birth day. All right, on time. You understand? And happy birthday to all of my first deacon Aries. Um, I love you all. I will definitely. I should be on time to tell y'all happy birthday in the new because you know I'm not gonna fuck up. I, I sorry, and I bias other signs, but I'm an Aries, and I'm gonna be. Now I won't be toying to the party for Aries. Okay, so I love you very, very, very much. Much love, much light. You guys, I send you many blessings and Namaste. All right, love you all.